Welcome to News 2 Now at 10. I'm Haley Wilkes. And I'm Bob Mueller. We learned today a great grandmother was killed when the tornado hit in Murray County. Her family was inside her home in Spring Hill, taking shelter with her sister when the storm hit. News 2 Sarah Smith with more. This is a picture of Cheryl Lovett. She lost her life in Wednesday's EF3 tornado that ripped through Murray County. Today, her family and loved ones sorting out the damage. They did go by and try to gather what they could gather today. But like I said, everything's a total loss. Erica Sullivan is a family friend, especially close to Cheryl's daughter, Bree, who lives on the property too. They lived right beside each other. Um, very much alike, outgoing, uh, bubbly, fun, always had a smile. Bree, understandably not ready to talk. She's dealing with the loss of her mother and her home and cars also destroyed. They're just trying to collect everything um, and carry on right now. Friends say Bree and her family have a place to stay for now, but they set up a GoFundMe because they'll need help down the road. Ryan Dunning is the guy behind the fundraiser. If you were born and raised here, you know it's a tight-knit community and everybody's going to lend a helping hand. doesn't matter what time of the day it is. Cheryl's sister in the house, too, when the storm hit. We're told she's at Vanderbilt University Medical Center in critical condition. A small town coming together in the biggest of tragedies. It's devastating, especially when it's so close to home. And, and again, when you have friends, family that lose friends and family. It's just, it's just really, really hard. We have more on how you can help the victims of Wednesday's tornadoes on our website. In Murray County, Sarah Smith, News 2.